my background in say stuff like Hebrew and stuff was pretty strong, especially having half of my family living in Israel. Um, Hebrew was spoken a lot at home. I grew up in LA, went to um, Jewish schools all my life, spent my summers at uh, Jewish sleepaway camp and the other half of the summer visiting family in Israel. I went to yeshiva my entire life, um, modern Orthodox yeshiva, so uh, secular day, so it was day school. Uh, it was half sort of a secular curriculum and half like a Judaic curriculum. It was definitely just an interest I had as a little kid, I probably because it was something my dad did and also just because I wanted to, I think, understand prayers and stuff a little bit better, I thought it would make me more connected with my Judaism. I started off with, with Hebrew because I, I was like, well, I kind of want to get a language down. Uh, I was my sophomore year of CSS and I would, it, it, which was really intense. Like, you know what, I'll do Hebrew. For me, it was, you know, a comfortable setting to go to and keep building my skills. So it was, it was sort of a natural thing I gravitated to, to balance some, you know, new subjects I was exploring, but also wanting to further develop existing skills I had. And I realized, wow, I miss Hebrew. I miss this language. And I, in the, my sophomore year, I decided to take Hebrew, um, just the intermediate course that um, Professor Katz was teaching. And I fell in love. I mean, it, it was amazing. I think she's an, an incredible professor. But like I've been to lectures where I could tell they didn't put a lot of thought into it. I've been to lectures, but, but then I've been to the leads lectures. Thank tell like she puts in so much time. Let, let, so she incorporates like multimedia. She, she um, the, the Israeli film festival, which I know is like her brainchild. Um, that, that that's just an excellent addition to the the curriculum because we're we're, we're not just like learning how to conjugate verbs and different tenses and stuff, right? We're um, actually seeing it being used in modern Israeli culture. One thing I really appreciate is how she's helped me overcome my kind of default to speak in slang in Hebrew. And she really is very good at kind of integrating structure into my language. So delete Hebrew courses are generally a credit in half because they add a ton of work. And um, so th there's just a, a ton of shared struggle, you know, like the, you know, not to get like too meta, but like Jewish history, you know, like it, it's all about like the, the shared struggle. I've definitely taken other languages where I felt bad because I wasn't the best speaker, but it really wasn't that kind of environment. I think we were really encouraged to really work on all our skills, but there was no shame in like one person being better than others. One course that uh, I remember taking early on was Introduction to the Hebrew Bible, which was really interesting because in high school learning about the Bible, it was more kind of in a religious way, but this was um, holding the Bible to scientific inquiry, inquiry um, and uh, looking at it in a historical context, which was really interesting. I took Hebrew Lit and I took Israeli cinema. Uh, that's something I never knew about. I mean, I didn't even know there was Israeli cinema. I took um, a class on Jewish graphic novels, which is definitely not something I thought I would have taken before. My, my relationship with Israel, um, it's a lot more complex with, with these classes, learning about it in, in a much deeper way. It's, it's given me confidence and like, right, so like I, I'm going to be in Germany at the end of the summer if, you know, COVID permitting, of course, for a math conference. Um, and I might like do a language immersion thing for my first few weeks there because my course with Delete is giving me the confidence to, to just say like, if I really like dedicate myself to getting better at a language, then um, I can probably make some progress, which is, you know, good. I took it for granted, my religion, and, and kind of, um, it was just part of my life. And going to Wesley, and I found myself gravitating towards it. And in that way, it felt more like a choice, my choice, and something that it, it, I, it also motivated me that no matter where I go, no matter where I, I find myself, I want to join a Jewish community. And I know that that's so enriching and it kind of feels like an anchor wherever I am. I think having taken this class now, my relationship is much more constructive. And I think it, the way that I anticipate it will impact my life will be much more healthy. And I won't be just like, it won't feel like I was so saturated with it that I just got like fed up. It really feels like this is something I've come back into love with. To do it 100%. And I think I would sort of tell them not to compare it to Hebrew class they may have taken in like high school or something. 
because it's just a lot less I would say it's less traditional um, but because it's less traditional I think it's better at helping build actual comprehension and writing and speaking abilities just because you it's not just all grounded in a textbook um, you have real ability to actually like just you know like life isn't in a textbook if, if you ever go to Israel or are speaking with Hebrew speakers it's not going to be like it is in a textbook so I think seeing that sort of real dialogue from from shows and from discussions in class and everything just takes it to a, a different level so don't don't think you've already done it if you've taken Hebrew uh, in, in high school I think for me, I think the biggest thing was just to keep an open mind. And I think that helped me get the best experience out of it that I could. Um, just because it very much was an experience where everyone wanted me to succeed. So I would say, like, just trying things that you wouldn't necessarily normally feel comfortable trying um, was very helpful. And I think encouraging other people to do the same would also be helpful. The path I took, and that's always a path option to you, is to you know take a take a really strong look at your community and take a really strong look at who you are and and build and and, and rebuild your identity brick by brick.